me let me get and also this additional thing in here it looks like we're gonna oh we're gonna jump right into it getting going on these two guys we're gonna be looking to see if panos is able to keep this sick combo game up and that is a great way to set the tone for game one panos as we've spoken before and i will speak one more time and hopefully try not to mention it too much during this set comes from the camp of the whiz rope down throw tech chase very methodical getting every little bit he can out of his combo game so let's see how many times he's able to get in here break through the wall of the lasers the down tilts everything that bobby's throwing out at him get these grabs and get as much and get as much out of it and bobby we're gonna see if he can just continue this incredible combo game we saw him pull against majersk where it just didn't look fair against him but we shall see already off to a slobber knocker here going both ways but bobby taking a lead off of set one let's see how quickly he'll be able to respond from panos let's see what he's got okay again just feeling him out bobby making space not letting panos pressure him too much side being to the ledge getting back on safely It'd be interesting to see how often bobby's able to recover Ooh really interesting option to cover the ledge i guess that's one way to punish double laser from the ledge really interesting choice there definitely working out and panos evens it back up but bobby's not going to take that standing down he's going to keep this combo going panos not getting anything off of that nair hit in neutral bobby also coming back and not getting anything off that up tilt to neutral okay what's he got back air into nothing Ooh, okay grab follow him uh, goes for a read into the recap. Still able to keep on going, though. And that's going to take the stock. Bobby loses that. And Panos takes his first lead of the set. What's he got? Now, how much will he be able to? He wants to get back in the center stage. So, oh. Yeah, he wants to get back in the center stage. So, Bobby's moves are less likely to kill him from here. He's got a better opportunity to recover. Trying to get out of Bobby's shield pressure, but he's not able to do it. Okay, what's he got? Not able to get back. And he tried. His damnedest, but his damnedest wasn't enough, and that'll take that even up stocks. And he's not able to get anything off of invincibility either. We're pretty much back to even. Who can make the most out of their combos? Okay, Majerus is... I'm sorry, Pados is able to get back on stage, no problem. But these lasers just racking up this damage. Dash attack, an interesting choice there. Able to get him a little bit of damage, but not much else. He's looking for that one way in. He just needs one way in. But Bobby's continuing to stuff him out, being like, you will not get a combo on me, and if you do, he's going to have the right DI, the right tech, not going to be able to follow it, and that might finish off the stock. Ooh, standing laser is not what he's looking for here. Okay, soft knee, hard knee. Yeah, he's got it. And Panos, poised to take game one. Bobby's definitely a few hits away from even this up. Ooh, knee into nothing, still getting some nice damage. 21, 35, Definitely a good start for this final stock for Panos here. Okay, that's going to be it. Here we go. Can Panos find this one opening he needs? Oh, oh no, not able to get anything off that missing two dares. Getting the reflect on that. Ooh, one knee. Is Bobby going to try to recover? He should just roll up, and that's it. Game one goes to Panos. Off the buffer. What are you guys thinking? You're thinking seven? Seven or eight, what we feeling? We can up it up a little bit more. Look like we're staying at seven. <sighs> but Panos able to get his combos. The the snuffing of his flame is just a little bit is not enough from Bobby. Bobby's shooting those lasers down, getting those up tilts in there, getting really good conversions off his combos. But Panos is keeping up at every step of the way and not giving up when he has when he falls behind. Really incredible work from Panos here in a matchup that is quite difficult for him. Keeps it going. So let's see what these guys do, where we're going to go for game two. Uh oh, and we're going to restart. We're going to see a restart of the game. Uh, start. Okay, we're going to run it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're still going through. Also, 121 people here. I can feel the pain in my throat. I'm going to just not talk. I'm going to self-isolate my throat, but we're going to go to Yoshi's. Bobby looking to, that is the wrong Yoshi's. Probably just getting a hand warm up, checking on the uh, delay. Um, yeah, but Panos just needs two more games to win the set. I think I may be just rooting for Panos for the sake that I get to rest my voice. It's been 
almost... When did we start? 7 o'clock? So it has been almost five straight hours of commentary. But I'm having a hell of a time. I hope you guys have been enjoying as well. If you're enjoying it, consider hitting that follow button. Consider subscribing. But we're going to run it to FD. Bobby's hoping to get these linear combos, get these lasers in here. And will last time when we had a little bit of issues with the buffer, will the change in buffer be exactly what he needs? Maybe it's just mindset not having to worry about that tilt. And it's showing very clearly now that maybe that was... That was all that was holding him back. Panos is not able to respond quite yet. The soft knee not getting anything here. Bobby looking for the laser reset, but Panos is able to act soon enough to get there. Okay, what's Panos got? Not able to get the follow-up from there. Okay. Going for a bit more reads here. Interesting to see. Not going for the, the re-grabs. And feeling the weight of getting the punishment for that. Okay, again, Nair, Dare's not making hit. Hmm. What do we got? Dare, shine, dare, shine. Oh, it's looking rough. It's looking real rough for Panos. A very different story from this game, too. The few openings he's gotten, has gotten very few off this. And again, this is tough matchup and a very tough stage, but at least he made last game look easy, or at last game look doable. Obviously, he made it look doable if he was win that. And laser from ledge on net play is going to be really hard for Panos to punish. Knee? Is he able to sneak? No. A nice uh, DI there, putting... Panos in an awkward scenario to be able to follow up on that, but he gets the up air, gets him off stage and able to convert off that. Bobby stands there as Panos runs into him, getting a shine, getting a nice meaty 80, and potentially the stock off that. Yeah. This is not looking great for Panos in this game, too. Again, a really strong counter pick, but I don't know where Falcon would want to go. Maybe Yoshi's? Yoshi's still really strong for Falco. Not a lot of great stages for Falcon in this matchup to counter pick, too. And Bobby doesn't even let it go the two minutes. Evens it up. Where's Panos going to go? Maybe we'll see Pokemon Stadium. Maybe the extra platform will be a little bit better than FD. Maybe we'll see Yoshi is trying to get those kills early with those knees. Panos is going to have to figure out something, though. It is not looking great. Oh, you can already hear the hoarseness in my voice. Where are we going? Dreamland? Okay, looking at the stage I forgot to talk about. Looking for a lot of space. Panos is trying to, again, get that separation. What we're all looking for right now. Panos may be looking to slow the game down, but if Panos is looking to get this space, slow the game down, we're going to see blazes. All right, here's big. This is huge. What can Panos get off this? This is what we were missing in game two. Okay, able to cover with three. That is... <sighs> Still really, really good getting a 90 damage combo there, but not being able to finish that off on a stage like this is going to be rough. Even though Falco's recovery gets him with a raw back air there out of nothing, and that'll take the kill. Okay. Panos, yeah, that's what we were missing. We just missed those combos in game two, and that, it just looked undoable. Okay, he's going to go off and get him. A very interesting reversal. I don't know exactly how that turned out, but Panos, uh, Bobby evens this one up. Okay. Okay. Gonna side be the ledge. Panos getting a little bit confused on what he wants from there, and he's going to suffer greatly for that. Nair. Okay. Nah, not able to get it. And Bobby. Ooh, the side B was a very lazy choice there. He's been going really well. Maybe it was just like his one mix-up of side B. Hopefully we don't we maybe see that littering in, but maybe that's also the mind game. He knows that Bobby thinks he won't use that side via neutral again because it didn't work out that last time. But Bobby's not even thinking about that. He's thinking about his edge guard flow chart and how he does not want to let Panos back on the stage. And he's got a better option there. Could have floated a little bit in. Oh, he's got one more shot. Bobby's probably going to be able to close that out. And the lead flips back in Bobby's favor. What are we going to see? A knee. A knee is what we will see, and we take this in game three to stock number two, even it up. Who's going to get the first, first opening? Get some neutral interactions. Panos is desperately out here looking for a grab or an air. Okay, there's a grab. He needs to get, he needs to get more than that. Grabs are going to become far and few between, and he needs more than that. Bobby going off the ledge, getting those lasers. And uh, he's getting so much more, yeah. Where Panos is getting 10 damage, Bobby's getting 60. All right. Oh, he goes out there and he takes it. The wave switches back, and it's now in Panos' favor. Can Bobby even it up? Or are we going to see? Oh, it's a back and forth. Such a back and forth game. These guys are neck and neck. This is a 
it, it's very looking very different from that FD stage, probably because that stage is very polarizing. Okay, very similar situation we saw on the stage. Panosh tries to mix it up with the side B, not doing that before, but Bobby's ready. Bobby's prepared. Bobby also waits out the invincibility. Ooh, what's he got? Panos? Okay, the reverse on the shine. Panos got 40 on his combo. Bobby only got 21. Oh, best move of the game. Oh, God. We're neck and neck. Both these players looking for an opening. Bobby's getting more of them, getting a lot off the one he got. The Randy forward smash, not what he's hoping to see here. Okay, how's he going to get back? This is, if he can't get back, that might just be it. Bobby's been really incredible at covering that. And Bobby looking to start that reset. Put Panos onto loser's side. Uh, the Panos car it looks like... It looks like the Panos car has been pulled over for a routine stop. And Officer Bobby is not happy what he sees. He's going to have to bring him in. Where's What's Panos thinking? Is he going to run it back to Dreamland? Or will we see another stage? I think Dreamland is... There's very few stages we're seeing favorable for Falcon in this matchup. I don't know where he go. So will we see Bobby reset, or are we going to have Panos take it to a game five? Again, it was really close. There's a couple of combos here. That's all Panos needed. He's getting them now. Will he take in place again? Oh, no. Ready for the mix-up? Gets it? That's a, This is a huge combo. This is a great way to start off. Not getting a kill out of it does definitely suck. But a free 68 damage from the jump. Um, hoping to get another, like, back air. Maybe a re-grab. Something out of here. And... Yeah, no, this is, if Bobby's, again, it's like, that stock lead is so huge being able to carry that momentum. Panos just needs one more win in neutral, though. That's going to be it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be it. Panos takes this. Whew. Here we go. What's Panos got? What does Panos have? Gets the slide off. Gets out of that very tricky situation. Gets 6%. He's not going to get away from the stock without anything. He gets this consolation prize. He's going home. He's going home with a little bit more than just $5. He's getting more than a gift card. But will he get that kitchen set, or is he just getting a little, little small price? He's getting, like, a bigger gift card now with this 32%. Ooh. Uh-oh. He's taking it all the way. He's bringing home the whole showcase. Panos, yeah, Dawson has it right. The Panos car just needed a little bit to refuel. Last game was a pit stop, and now the Panos car is just zooming, doing laps around Bobby. He wants to... Panos Car is a big fan of Saves Untitled's voice, and he does not want me to lose it and have to come to the third set. But Bobby's like, screw your voice. You you kept on spamming with messages. I'm going to keep it going. And Bobby, whew, getting a fresh 58. He's going to keep it going. 76 off one opening. Really nice to see, but Panos is back in business. What's he got? Okay, again, the changing combos. It's It's... Uh, we're going back and forth with seeing like neutral game between these guys and then just one person gets a combo other person gets a combo it's just back and forth back and forth it's been nuts all right panos needs to get out of the the corner here he really does not want to be there stage control is huge especially in this match especially oh go grab legend nah that's not gonna do it panos poised to push this to a game five can he do it excuse me what's he got what's he got Double lasers from the ledge. Panos adapting to that, just going to the platform, being like, hey, you can shoot these lasers. As soon as you get done, as soon as you hit the ground, I'm ready there to punish that. Panos not getting a slide off, putting him in a weird situation, but he's able to get out of it. Taking a bold move to do a nair out of the corner there. Really worked out well. Yeah, see, we're seeing Panos uh, knowing that Bobby's very consistently going for those double lasers, so he's starting to hang on that platform, being like, yeah, shoot him. I'm waiting. Really? Oh, finally, the side B works. Oh, Panos. A very stylish way to close out. And we're going to go to game five. Will Panos win untitled number one without dropping a single set? Or will we see Robert push the pressure back in his way? So are we going to see him go to FD light? Are we going to see a Pokemon Stadium? Is Bobby going to want a little bit more space? Or are we going to see Yoshi's Bobby looking to continue to press that combo? Game five, grand finals. This is... This is what you dream of. There's those kids growing up thinking of bottom of the ninth, two outs, who's going to get that final hit, tied score, grand slam. For us, 
us esports players, for us melee fans, this is what we live and die for. Game five, grand finals. Where are we going? Where does Bobby think he can close this out? What stage? Let me know when ready. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready, gamers. Game five, let's run it. Going back to bats. Oh, uh -oh. I, I, uh, we're good, we're good. I just minimized the game, we're good. All right, I think what is going to be critical here is who takes this first stock. And unfortunately, it is Panos taking the first stock, but he takes the first stock from himself. Unfortunately, this is set one Diplomatic Toucan. Panos is still on winner's side. If if Bobby is able to win this one, we're going to have a reset. We're going to have to run this all the way back from the jump. All right, Panos needs to take the stock sooner. Bobby's just going to keep on running over, and we're going to see a set two, and it is looking, ooh, okay. Some very crisp movement over there on the edge. Bobby... Not giving a homie stock, not giving a second thought. Oh, well, maybe in his own in his own special way, giving a homie stock. Panos can definitely still win this back. Gets one great combo off a chain, off a grab. We could see something special. Panos finished it off the last game with a special combo. Can he keep it fresh? Can he keep it fun, funky, and fresh? These guys have been going back and forth, back and forth. But Panos needs a little bit more back. He's been getting too much forth. Oh, and Bobby... Probably does not want to give him any room. Get up attack really smart. Stopping, snuffing any momentum. Panos is getting there. Doing it again. But Panos is ready this time. A third get up attack. All right. Is Bobby going to be bold enough to do it in the next tech chase situation? Do it four times in a row. Or is he going to mind game Panos? And just snuffing his momentum yet again. Ooh, Bobby almost getting in a situation where he kills himself. All right. No third get up attack. Definitely mixing it up there. And Panos not able to get much off there. The Hail Mary side B is not going to be the thing that brings him back in the set. And that, it's looking like we're going to go, despite my voice's better judgment, it looks like we may be going into, ooh, Bobby, again, giving these very delayed homie stock. Maybe the, the homie isn't there, but the stock is definitely coming through. Ooh. And just like the stock market, it's looking like... Oh, Panos might be going down. Bobby's saving his ass. Ah, it's looking... Oh. No, no. It's looking like we might be going to set two. Oh, no. What do we got? What do we got? Down air? Another down air? Bobby, he's still up there. You need to hit that first down air before you follow him down. Bobby says we'll do it with a back air. And that brings us into set two. Bobby wins... Grand Finals, the reset. So this means we have, we reset, we we wipe the board. Everything goes back. And we have one set left. At most, five games of Melee. At worst, three games of Melee. It all comes down to this. We've had a long day. We've been playing. The bracket started at 7 o'clock. We've been playing. We've been streaming for five hours you can hear it in my voice you can hear the hoarseness but we're gonna power through one more set for the untitled champion i gotta move panos a little bit for the untitled champion who's gonna be the one to do it who is going to be the first your first champion's always gonna be a little special it'd be great to see a man of my own character bobby big balls someone who has played I probably close to the most sets on stream now, right up there next to Ember. Being the man to win it. Someone who I won. Bobby clicked that he lost and said run. Oh, well, tournament's over then. GG, we're good. Can I edit it? Okay, yeah, let me edit it. I got it real quick. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> Killing our momentum a little bit, but that'll be good. That'll run us to... Uh, set two, yeah, we should be good, and I'll cue the set automatically. I think we'll be good, yeah. But there we go. Set two, both players, loser side, one set, the last opportunity to be the first. Who will be the first? Saves and title. We're bringing it out of St. Patrick's Day. We're bringing it into another day. I didn't think I was going to be running a two-day event, but. The sands of time march on no matter what. These two guys are probably striking their stages right now, deciding where they want to start. They've got a little bit more data from the last set, knowing where they like, where they don't like, where they think they're favored, where they think they aren't. So let's figure it out. Set two. 
Grand Finals. I was speaking earlier to when you're coming up, you're watching Melee. This is the set you dream of. This is what this is what everyone's always thinking of. What the the game game five game. This is the final game situation. This is the most intense thing you'll see in Super Smash Bros. Melee. The reset, and not only a reset where it's something like HBOC, where it's inevitable for him to win, where he wins set one 3-0. This is game five in the first set, and potentially game five in the second set. We've been seeing a lot of interesting adaptations between the two, and we'll see some more going into this final set. If these guys figure out what's going on, I can only I can only stall with intense style for so long. Looks like we've got our stage. We're starting off game one on Yoshi. It's an interesting way, but are these guys at adapting. Let's see who's able to finish it out. Who will be the first untitled champion? It really has come down to. I'd love to take a look back. It if it's the person who takes the first stock who wins all these sets. It really seems like the though. Even though there's been statements of momentum in many of these games and we're seeing panos make the statement in this not only this first game but the second set the first game of the second set here and bobby's gonna swing it right back a disgusting combo extension with that up air on the platform he's he's given panos a little bit of time to come back to stage and that might be a little bit dangerous if he's getting another nair gets another crab is able to find his way out here side b the recover really nice mix up getting a nice drift to avoid that dropping from the ledge panos getting yeah, Bobby taking his time to finish off that stock may come back to bite him here, at least for 30% and maybe more. Panos with this incredible DI and oh, wow, these nuts. Oh, Randall's in play. Oh no. Panos' recovery has been incredible, uh, especially in those Dreamland games we saw. But right here, right now, Bobby getting an unfortunate turnaround on those lasers from the edge. Well, I will continue to see if Bobby will keep doing those lasers from the edge and or if... Uh, Panos will continue to adapt by standing above on platform to combat those. Yeah, it looks like every time Bobby gets the ledge, he's like, yeah, you're either, you can tournament winner and kill yourself by coming up here, or you can shoot these lasers. Bobby, not even giving Panos the opera. Holy moly! He's throwing out moves too fast, throwing out lasers too fast, not even giving me a chance to figure out what he's doing, going over the Randall, just continuing to go off stage, shoot those lasers. Really, again, I guess he's adapting. Oh my god! Bobby, Bobby might be going against the wave of I saying that it's the player who wins, who takes the first stock. Because Bobby's looked dominant since that that one combo and continues to just push and push and push. And if it was set one immovable objects against an unstoppable force, Panos is looking like a very very immovable object in this first game of set one. Even after taking an, a very strong first stock bobby's continuing going to the ledge adapting even further like we've been talking about when panos has been saying that i'm just going to stand on this platform when you shoot the double lasers lasers bobby's been like i'm not going to give you the chance to get to that platform i'm just going to shoot the lasers and you're not going to have any time to adapt and i'm going to keep on going and keep on going and keep on going bobby not giving panos time to breathe taking game one in a very strong fashion what's he gonna do Will Bobby take it? Whew, I'm out of breath just watching that gameplay and definitely out of breath from commentating on this one. Panos is shown the ability to come back from rough games, though. He came back from rough games in set one, and I wouldn't be surprised for him to come back from rough games from set two. They're going to bats this time. Let's see what Battlefield has in store. Panos definitely would like to be starting off this game one strong again. See, it doesn't look like his... Oh, will that be it? Oh, wow. Was not expecting Bobby to be bold enough to just go to the ledge. Um, but we can definitely see from that down throw tech chase that Panos' confidence has not been shaken. See, okay. Uh, it, we're seeing really, really, that that's the story of the set. What's going on here? The adaptation around the, the double lasers from the edge. Oh, no. Panos got away with it once. I think that might be him getting away with that once might be one of the worst things for him in the set because it's, it's poisoned his mind to think that that's a good option here. And he keeps on getting punished for that side B. And that's that's going to keep on. Okay, double H from the edge. No, he's getting the wave, line, uh, wave dash on. Mixing up a little bit. It's really been the story of the ledge. The man on the ledge. Bobby doing a lot of get up attacks too. Bobby doing a great job to, even though he didn't get the connection there, to snuff... Panos has any momentum or combos that he's starting the building with these get-up attacks. Panos has been 
iffy on reacting to those getup attacks. Okay, what's Bug gonna do here? Getting really, really nice recoveries from the ledge, and also, again, not doing the double laser from the ledge, even though Panos wasn't getting ready there, but he was able to do just the roll-up as the crowd cheers for Bobby to keep the momentum on, and Jesus, Bobby's looking so good. After a long night of playing two netplay dormants, Bobby does not look, looks like he just started moments ago. Looking like this is his first set of the day in pools. All right, Panos, this could be huge. I don't know how Bobby got out of there, but he got out of there. Okay. Controlling center stage. Can Panos do it? Maintain that momentum. Maintain, maintain center stage. All right, how much he's going to get? Going for another jab there? All right, uh, going for the read. Ah, that was huge. Panos needed that. Now Bobby's going to get his retort. And his... It's a little it's a little bit of a, a return back with that. Not enough, unfortunately. Oh, God. It's looking real, real rough for Panos here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, five hours straight comp day, you start running out of things to talk about. But Panos, oh wow. It I I feel like it just flashed before my eyes of Panos bringing this game back. Definitely does not have a lead just yet, and he needs to bring it back. And it looks like he will. Roll up might be able to do it. Yeah, roll up and he brings it back. Every time it looks like it's out of Panos' control. He doesn't give up. He keeps on pushing. He gets the most out of these combos. And we bring it a one-stock match. Game two. Game two. What's he got here? Looking for one opening. Either player. Oh, Bobby's got it. How much can Bobby get out of this? The air dodge. Probably a flub, not getting a slide off or a tech there. Making it easy for him, a dare. And Bobby does it with a strong combo, even though Panos was, was pulling and pulling. Bobby eventually got those final tugs in and was able to finish off that game two. And potentially, this entire set, this entire tournament, Panos needs to win three straight. We've seen reverse 3 0s. Uh, Dawson potentially done it in one of his off tournament sets. Ember did it definitely on one of his on-screen sets. Panos, let's see what you got. This is this is where this is where true players decide if they're able to do it. Is he gonna go get him? It it really is reassuring to see and definitely keeps my hope in Panos able to make this comeback. That he's he's not choking on these edge guards. He's continuing to get these follow-ups really nicely. And he is definitely still dropping some and not able to finish out these stocks. But for the most part, like especially these these re-grabs, these tech chases to start off every match, he's getting them and like not missing them at all. But Bobby is Bobby's playing like a man possessed, and he continues and continues to play like a man possessed. But Panos, again, taking that first stock. So fresh, so clean. What's Robert got in response? Robert says, I'm gonna make this as hard as you hard for you as possible. Who get a get a little lost his wallet a bit there? Oh Panos, he's gonna go get him. Just trading the stocks? Yeah, that's a that's a really good identification of the situation. Trading stocks. Keep it going. Alright, Panos just needs to keep that going. He does got he does have FD after this, though. That is really rough going down 2-0. Even if he's able to find some magic here in the set, he's going to win two matches on FD, which the last match they played on FD did not go so well for Panos. Oh, man. Whew. And that might be the stock. Are we even back up? He's just going to roll up? Nah, he makes sure he's not going to roll up. Bobby, I don't think we've seen Bobby miss any of these edge guards, or edge cancels, or at least any of these edge cancels that matter. And, ooh, is he going to try to finish it? He tries to end his entire career. Going for the down air there. The knee not able to connect. Panos needs something huge. He needs something now. Even though this is even, Bobby can do that at a moment's notice. Gets the slide off, not getting jab reset, not getting reset on the laser over there on the platform. But again, when we're at even, I feel like Bobby's at advantage. Because Bobby's just had... He's had it. He's been converting so much more. Nice cancel there. Okay. We saw that earlier in the setting. He brings it back for a reminder. Doesn't let Bobby get the chance to choose an option. Panos may be expecting Bobby to snap to ledge there. But uh, like I was saying before, we've seen Panos use the side B right, like the side B away from the ledge to cover the double lasers. And it's been working. A mix up from him standing on the ledge. Can he finish it off? Oh, the reset. Bobby needs one more. Bobby needs one more. Panos needs a whole, whole lot. 
He's going to need it soon. Or this is going to be a 3-0 for Bobby. The win from loser side after dropping a set real early. Oh, no. Bobby's got his number. Bobby's got all of his numbers. That might be it. Oh, God, the double lasers. Keeping the pressure on. Bobby wants to finish off in style. You can feel it in his bones. Up smash. Forward air. Down air. And that's it. Bobby Big Balls becomes the first untitled champion winning the reset from loser's bracket, winning how many straight sets. What an incredible tournament. What a absolute nuts tournament from all y'all guys. I appreciate you all coming through. It's been an absolutely nuts day. My voice is exhausted, but I had an incredible time. Congratulations to Bobby. I don't know if Bobby is going to be streaming after this, but I will gladly send the stream over his way with a raid. Thank you. But before I do that, I want to thank everyone for competing. I want to thank everyone for showing up. I had an incredible time. Even in these trying times for Super Smash Brothers Melee for the Nintendo GameCube, the community stays strong. We stay here. We're not going anywhere, baby. You hit us with a virus, we got to stay home. We keep going. We find ways to adapt. The Melee community never gives up. And we keep on powering through. If you enjoyed this tournament, consider following. We'll be doing this every Tuesday night from now on. We'll be doing some version of that. If you enjoyed, go over to the Smash GG page, join the Discord, tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't like. But yeah, I need to rest my goddamn voice. Bobby, congratulations so much. I'm going to send all of my viewers over your way. What an incredible tournament to everyone. So many incredible players. Such an incredible night. I had so much fun. Oh, this was so much fun. But I've been saves untitled. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully Bobby's not going over the my stream. Bobby's going over my stream. Bobby, I'm sending the stream other your over your way. Uh Bobby Big Balls. Yeah, Bobby, I'm sending the stream over your way. I've been saves untitled. Thank you for thank you for being in the tournament. Thank you even for last minute for joining. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this next week. Next week, I hope to see the defending champion there. We'll make sure there's much more closer players, so you don't have to worry about lag. But I've been saved as untitled. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go congratulate the first ever untitled champion, and I will see you guys next time, gamers.